Let's see what we got. All right. 21 int. Freedom. Heck yeah. Bleeding sweep. Rip. 20 int. Empowered meteor shower. Reinforced. Oh, durability. Need that. 21 int. Resilient. Fortifying rain of arrows. For all you int bow users out there. 21 int. Energize Feral Rush. And Reinforce Mining Lock. Those are going in the trash. And you guys can't see this, but 21 Int. Energizing Feral Rush. And Reinforced. Because you need some durable boots when you out there running around with your hatchet as an Int user. Alright, cool. I don't know what to say about gear, loot, the crafting system and stuff like that. I don't know, I don't know why everything revolves so much about around RNG. But I really, really, really advocate for this all the time on stream. And you guys talk about it a lot. I think that they could really benefit a lot from giving us more control over the gear that we have. Not just the gear drops. I'm okay with RNG gear drops because that that just prolongs the grind. We all love the grind, right? But I think when it comes down to crafting and if you guys have browsed if you guys have browsed the Reddit forums at all in the past couple weeks. Crafting is such a hot topic because everyone feels like it's going down the toilet and it's going to be irrelevant. First off, I don't think it's going to be irrelevant, mainly because of the patch notes that were released on the forum the other day. They are going to be adding a lot more control over to crafting in the future. So the only thing that's going to be irrelevant when it comes down to crafting, to my understanding, is you're going to see a lot less of the useless gear being sold, right? The stuff with durability, the stuff with mining, the, the stuff with... Ma the, the gear with max intelligence, you know, empowered meteor, all that, all the stuff that you want mixed in with all the stuff that you don't want. All of that gear is going to become more relevant, which will increase the grind of crafting. In my opinion, though, I think that if they could go a little bit farther and make these timeless shards, is what they're called. A timeless shard is a crafting artifact that enables the player to craft an item with a specific attribute bonus on it while still being able to use a crafting mod to guarantee a perk. I think this is a huge step in the right direction. In the right direction. Now, the biggest argument that I have towards crafting, or that I hear all the time on stream, is... Lang, if you give people the control to craft whatever they want, all they're going to do is craft meta. Right? Makes sense, sure. Everyone's going to want to craft the best of the best. I think the solution is to create a grind, add content, between what people are trying to grind, what people are trying to craft, and where they are currently. And I don't think RNG is the answer. I don't think adding RNG so that we, you spend days and days and days crafting legendary materials, hitting all these orange chalcum routes, getting shot by musket users on top of a rock because you're, you want to be PvP flagged for the extra luck, just to be able to craft something with... I don't know, a musket perk on an int piece of gear, which isn't terrible, but maybe you get like a, a sword, a sword piece of gear with int, right? Energizing Feral Rush with int. Maybe like it's, it sucks to spend all that time, all that grind to go to a station where you're supposed to be able to choose what you want to use and you get all these useless perks. Go to the training post. You can see what I'm talking about. There's there's garbage just scattered everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm not advocating for being able to spend a day or two playing the game, and then have everything meta. Not advocating for that. I just want to make sure that's clear. What I think could happen is, along with these pieces that they're adding, the timeless shards, I think that they could add a proficiency ability or a proficiency perk to the station itself. So if you're an outfitter and you're crafting all this stuff for your company, you're crafting all this stuff for your faction, and you're just crafting and crafting and crafting and crafting and crafting, and for yourself even, as you craft you get better proficiency right they could add a tab up here that shows potential gear score and then proficiency level right maybe your proficiency tier one tier two tier three tier four tier five whatever it is it just shows that not only did you grind to craft the gear that you want you grinded to become the best crafter it'll add a whole new layer to crafting right and if they did that each tier would inherently have extra perks right like being able to use timeless shards and then the next perk would be able to use you know, whatever whatever title you want to give it, it would give them the ability to 
be able to choose what perk you put on there, right? Let's say if you guys go back and watch my um, my Void Vampire build video about my Void Gauntlet that has 50 to 75% lifesteal, that's what I love to do. I love to theorycraft and create gear sets that work together and create an extra layer on top of skill, right? So I have the skill with the Void Gauntlet. I want to bring in those extra perks that really make it sink in for the specific activity that I'm doing, whether it's a war, a dungeon, duels, open world PvP, whatever the case may be. I want to be able to craft a set that fits that setting, not craft a set that makes the meta. That's up to Amazon to figure out how to how to create that content gap to fill is how do they how do, how do they add the content that makes the grind longer and more rewarding while still giving you control right let me know what you guys think about what could give more control and how amazon could do that in the comments below and uh, i'd love to have more discussions about that but i would love to be able to have the control where if i put the time in i can make the perfect set that i want just like my void vampire build i spent upwards of 50 to 60,000 gold just crafting so much stuff and I still ended up with gear that had durability on it mining luck uh all kinds of like like sword perks increased threat like all the stuff you don't want but it was still it still had the perk that you want right I spent 20k the other day crafting pants that gave me um what was it, it was empowered fireball uh freedom and I was and I was a mage I was using a fire staff it was Empowered Fireball, Freedom, and Strength. 24 Strength. And I crafted two of them. I crafted two of them with the top legendary masters you can possibly use. Um, and both of them rolled Strength. Both of them rolled Strength. This isn't this isn't uh, the pants, but this is exactly what I did. I used 22 Runic Glove, 12 Phoenix Weave, 1 Asmodium. And if you've played this game, you know how long it takes to get that, that stuff, right? If you don't own Windsward, it takes a while. It takes a while. And then you throw Azoth on top of that. And then you throw the 2,000 gold mod, right? I use two of those mods. Like, it's just all down the drain. You know what I'm saying? So just to paint the picture of the frustration that we all go through, I would love to just see the end result be, give us the ability to choose the attribute, to choose the perk, to choose perk two, to have a gym slot and be able to craft the gear that we want to use as a gear set. And then... I would love to see Amazon create a creative way that still increases the grind and doesn't make everything just lead towards the meta. And I'll, and I'll, I'll challenge you with this because I'm sure that you have some things that you want to say about this, but I'll challenge you with this. I want to hear how many gear sets you have. And when I say gear sets, I mean, do you only play Great Axe Hammer, right? What's keeping you from playing Bow Rapier? What's keeping you from playing Fire Staff Icecom? What is keeping you from branching out into these other builds? Why don't you have multiple gear sets that you can swap between? Why do you only play one? Is it because you only like playing one weapon? Or is it literally because you're being gatekept from switching to another spec because of what it takes just to get one gear set that makes sense? You know what I mean? MMOs should not boil down to only being able to play one class because you, you either can't afford the gear or it's just literally gatekept from you, right? And I would love to talk more about this. So if you guys have more to say on this topic, please let me know. Let me know what kind of ideas you might have as far as the stations are concerned. How can they improve on crafting? How can they give us control without just leading us, like, like holding our hand to the meta, you know? What can we do? What can we provide them that's critical feedback and constructive ideas to help them give us more control right maybe you don't want control let me know tell me more about it if you guys want to leave a comment down below we'd love to hear about it uh we're gonna have more videos coming out so make sure you hit the subscribe button like the video to help it get some growth and uh, if you want to come hang out with us live we stream on twitch every day except for sundays usually and uh, we're, we're live around 6 p.m east coast time if you're up and around so we'd love to see you love to have you around and uh i can't wait to hear from you thanks guys